Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today I'd like to talk to you about minimum diameter rockets, specifically high power rockets. Um, say this was your rocket, and uh, I don't have any fins on here, but assume it did have fins. Um, and we want to put in a high power motor, like an H motor, into this minimum diameter rocket. Now how do we keep the motor in? And that's what I want to talk about today. Um, We've got a new product, and it's from Aeropack, and it's called a minimum diameter retainer. And what it is, is this thing right here, and this will be glued inside the tube. And you can see the little post on the back end, like right here. Um, that will screw into the top of um, the forward closure on an Aerotech motor. Now, that's not the standard forward closure. This is the standard forward closure, but we do sell um, this forward closure here and you'll find it on our website um, and that just screws into the top of this so when the it's inserted into the the rocket it will hold it. I'm just squeezing the tube right now it just holds it in place and then to get it out you can just un unscrew it like that um, the issue is how do you do this with a Cesaroni motor because the Cesaroni motor, as you can see, it doesn't have a replaceable forward closure. It's got this forward closure that has the lip on it. Uh, this is an H motor. Even you can see that when it goes in, there's still nothing to grab on. Well, Aeropack, the maker of the minimum diameter retainer, has also made this. Um, it's called the delay ejection adapter um, and that will adapt it to this motor. So I'm going to show you how to use this. Um, it's a little complicated but I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. So first of all you're going to take your your reload motor um, and you're going to pop off the little plastic cap that holds the ejection charge in. You're going to dump that ejection charge out and you're going to save it because obviously um, because this is plugged, it, it's, it's solid disc, you, there's going to be no ejection charge from the motor. So you're going to have to use electronics in the upper part of the rocket to deploy the parachutes, like a dual deployment altimeter. Um, so you're going to, you can use that ejection charge that you poured out as one of the ejection charges uh, in the top of the rocket. Now to use this, you'll see that it's threaded on the back end right here. Uh, once you pour out the ejection charge, that little pin goes into the little hole inside the motor. And then you're going to screw it down. Now when you first do it, um, what I recommend is, is to take the ejection charge out. And you take a vise or something and you want to just stick this upside down in a vise or something just so you can hold it. Uh, because it, you're, you're basically you're going to be cutting grooves into the plastic with the threads on the, uh, the adapter there. So you're going to take that and you're going to really cinch it down. Now you can also tighten it down with a, with a wrench here. So that's good and tight. Um, now, if you mess up the threads on the plastic, you're gonna, that's the part that's going to mess up because it's, it's soft compared to the aluminum. Uh, what you can do is just take a little bit of thin CA glue and just run it around the perimeter on that inside um, and then kick it off and let it dry, let it harden, and then just re-thread this adapter to it, and that works fine. That's what I've been doing all day with this one here. Um, then once it's on, you can stick it into your reload case and then you'll just tighten it down like you normally would. Okay, now Aeropack um, suggests that you put some grease on this threaded rod here and I do agree with that because you don't want, um, so when you untighten it, after, after when you pull it out, you don't want it unscrewing here, you want it unscrewing here. So you do want it very, very loose. Um, and then again, this is going to be screwed on there like that. And this first is going to be epoxied into the rocket. So, so this is the bottom end of the rocket and the fins are here, remember. 
Um, so you put your epoxy in, you'll slide that in, and then you can either let it harden or you can kind of squeeze the tubes with your fingers so you can get it out like that. And then when you're ready to fly your rocket, you put that on, the, on this end, you just slide it in and screw it down. And basically that's going to be how you're going to use the minimum diameter retainer. This is from Aeropack and you'll find it on the Apogee Components website. My name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.